What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the third moveset guide of the day. I have made three of these now, so yeah, it's it's weird. YouTube does the thing where it's like, hey, don't upload too often or we won't promote your videos. So I gotta be careful, man. I gotta be careful, but we have to stay on that grind. So today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a moveset guide on Galarian Mole Trace. Probably the worst of the three birds in my opinion. However, still a very interesting utility Pokemon. So if you guys are excited for this and if you guys wanna stay tuned on the channel and see all of the new moveset guides coming out for me in the next couple of days as well as some VGC Wi-Fi battles, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and uh, turn on notifications. Let's try to shoot for 200 likes today and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So Galarian Moltres is actually really interesting. In a way it's sort of like a mini Eveltal. Uh, it's super super bulky. They ended up moving its 125 special attack or wherever that thing was over to its special defense which makes this thing super interesting. Um, the first moveset that came to my mind was of course the Assault Vest set and while these things don't have the greatest move pools it does have a move pool that lends itself to being uh, a phenomenal Assault Vest Pokemon so let's go ahead and start off with the uh, with the base stats. It's got 90 HP, 85 attack, 90 defense, 100 special attack, 125 special defense, an absolutely massive stat, and 90 speed. This thing's gonna be able to take hits left and right if you slap an Assault Vest on it and uh, I'm actually giving it a timid nature while in the future we will understand what this thing needs to live in in particular what we should EV for. Um, for now I'm just going to say 4 HP, uh, 252 special attack and 252 speed with a timid nature. Uh, this thing's going to be running Fiery Wrath or Dark Pulse and Fiery Wrath and Dark Pulse you can switch them out. However I think Fiery Wrath might be a little bit better. It's actually a really interesting move. It's a 90 base power move that hits both of the opponents and has a 20% chance to flinch. So it's sort of like a special rock slide that's also dark type. It's really interesting and I think it's going to be a nasty move if this thing managed to get a special attack boost from Berserk which is the ability. It gives you a special attack boost at 50% uh, health or lower. Uh, the next move is going to be Snarl. Uh, because this thing is running max speed, it'll be able to Snarl things and outspeed them, lowering their special attack stats, allowing allowing it and its uh, partner Pokemon to tank hits on the special side a lot easier. Air Slash or Hurricane, it's all, you know, depending on your team. If you're running a rain team, go ahead and run Hurricane every, every single time. However, um, if you're not, it's between Air Slash or Hurricane. If you're going to Dynamax this thing, which by the way, Dynamax this thing is going to eat every single hit. It's going to be so gross. Um... If you want a powerful Max Airstream, like a more powerful Max Airstream, you can go to run Hurricane. Uh, however, the trade-off is when you're not Dynamaxed, it is pretty inaccurate, so be careful with that. And the final move is going to be Taunt. Taunt is a phenomenal support... Oh, wait. Why is this thing at Taunt? It's supposed to be U-Turn. Ignore that. That's supposed to be U-Turn. The final move is U-Turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um... This thing is going to want to run U-Turn on the Assault Vest set uh, because it'll allow it to uh, switch in and out and not get trapped. My bad, guys. I slipped up there. I guess I messed up on the slide. Uh, but yeah, U-Turn is a phenomenal move for getting in and out, uh, allowing this thing not to get trapped by Gothitelle or any other Pokemon that might want to trap it somehow. Maybe if you like get caught by Regia, like you Thunder Cage or something, uh, you'll be able to get out of there for free. So yeah, uh, my apologies on that. That's supposed to be a uh, U-Turn. <laughs> the next move set I have for this thing is going to be a utility set that is supposed to have taunt. <laughs> it's going to be running safety goggles with the same uh, EV spread of 4 HP, 252 special attack, 252 speed, uh, with fiery wrath, dark pulse, snarl, air slash hurricane, and your final move is going to be between taunt and safeguard. Um, you could also drop snarl for safeguard because I feel like taunt is just always going to be on it. Uh, once again, taunt <laughs> for real this time is supposed to be used to uh, uh, stop things for going from trick room or going for will-o-wisp etc. It's a really useful move and honestly a phenomenal move for uh, Galarian Moltres with its high speed. Um, and this thing is going to be able to just be an overall great support Pokemon in that sense. It'll be able to ignore Rage Powder from opposing Amoongus. It'll be able to uh, just completely ignore getting Spored, which is really useful, and protect the rest of the team with Safeguard if need be. If you have like a fast Pokemon you don't want to get Thunder Waved, you can go ahead and take a turn, set up a Safeguard, and be good to go. This thing is going to be phenomenal for supporting Dynamax Pokemon, or even Dynamaxing itself if you feel like going that route. However, in the future, I would suggest putting this thing... Uh, putting this thing's EVs uh, more into bulk to ensure that it's able to do its job just a bit better, but for now, max speed, max special attack should be able to do the job pretty well. The final move set I have for you guys is actually a really scary one that I'm really excited to try out, to be honest. This thing seems like a phenomenal weakness policy Pokemon, and that's because of what happens when it's able to click its best move, Fiery Wrath. So, basically, um, I would suggest running a hasty set with this uh, set. 
<laughs> or a hasty uh, nature of the set, uh, because with max speed, max special attack, and uh, four attack, you'll be able to actually use Sucker Punch pretty well at plus two, allowing you to hit things that would otherwise be faster than you, like Dragapult, uh, for some pretty massive damage. I'm pretty sure plus two Sucker Punch with the hasty nature will allow you to one-shot that thing. Uh, but yeah, this thing, when Dynamax, will be able to easily, easily get off its uh, weakness policy. You could do like a self-ice shard strategy, uh, but if you're doing self-ice shard, I would suggest running like a negative special defense nature rather than a negative defense nature to minimize the damage you're taking there. Um, but yeah, this thing's going to be so nasty with this set. On top of that, you'll be able to spam max airstream to speed boost this thing and the rest of the team. Imagine this thing uh, getting down to half health after already getting the weakness policy and then clicking max airstream that's plus one speed plus three special attack that is disgusting and on top of that if you get your weakness policy off once the dynamax ends you'll be able to spam fiery wrath an extremely powerful move because it's coming out so fast with the one in five chance of flinching and the fact that it's stabbing hitting both the opponents it's going to be such a powerful move and i'm so excited to try this pokemon out now let's get into notable partners. Now, like I said earlier, um, Galarian Moltres with the Snarl set is going to be really good when it comes to lowering special attack output. Uh, so in that case, it'll actually pair well with two Pokemon in particular, uh, those being Kartana and Duraludon. For one, they're Steel types, which means they'll be able to deal with the fairies that scare out Galarian Moltres, um, as well as the ice types that uh, scare Galarian Moltres. Uh, but on top of that, because they have low special defense stats, if you slap an Assault Vest on those things and go for Snarls, you'll be able to make it so these things, when they're Dynamaxed, will be able to take hits really well, despite them being really powerful special attack stats, which would normally be very problematic for them. Uh, next up, we have Landris, which is overall just a phenomenal Pokemon. This thing is scared of electric types. Landris being able to one-shot electric types with its stab earthquakes is really nice. On top of that, Intimidate's always a super, super useful move that um, every team can pretty much run in the format. Uh, next up, we have Dragapult, which is a ghost dragon type, very fast Pokemon. This thing does not want to, um, it does not want to deal with, uh, Pokemon that are faster than it. it's it's very scared of anything faster that might be electric type or whatever uh Moltres can be used to like sucker punch a weakness policy Dragapult uh because if you're running like minimum special attack you could or minimum attack you could sucker punch your own Dragapult go for a weakness policy boosted attack and just sweep games like that uh also Dragapult just in general is a phenomenal Pokemon to have on pretty much any team Next up we have Rillaboom. This thing is pretty fearful of rock types like um, Tyranitar. Rillaboom being able to Gigantamax and one-shot pretty much any rock type is really useful. Um, on top of that, Moltres can help it out. Uh, Rillaboom tends to run an Assault Vest, so it'll make it extremely bulky by spamming things with um, spamming things with uh, Snarl, etc., which is just a really, really nice combination there. Tapu Lele is actually a really interesting Pokemon. The reason I put it on here is because we saw a lot of Lele Zapdos, Lele Mandibuzz, Lele Evoltal in past formats. With this thing being, being pretty much a, a mini Evoltal, uh, it'll be able to run like a Psychic Seed if need be over the Assault Vest and actually just be a really solid Pokemon. The only issue is uh, this thing doesn't get Tailwind, which is really disappointing. If this thing got Tailwind, it'd be a phenomenal Psychic Seed user. But for the time being, uh, I think that whatever moveset I gave it when it comes to uh, uh, Assault Vest will work just as well with the Psychic Seed if you want to put that Assault Vest somewhere else. Next up, uh, oh yeah, I guess we already covered Duraldon, but yeah, uh, this Pokemon has phenomenal synergy with a lot of things in the format, and I'm actually really excited to try it out. I hope that you guys are going to try out some of the sets that I sent you guys today. Do me a favor, leave a like in the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for more moveset guides, because I'll be pumping these, these things out for the next couple of days. Um, and yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, comment down below what you guys think of Galarian Moltres. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice night. Bye.